Is Liberty Dying Where You Live? Escape to Keen at freekeen.com. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'll uh, try not to go past just a few minutes here, but let me know if I've got one minute left and appreciate that. Uh, so the reason I'm running for uh, city council is that there are some problems with the city of Keene. It's a great place to live. It's a beautiful place. It's full of wonderful people. And there are only really a few issues with it. And one of those is the constant targeting of uh, peaceful people in Keene uh, by the Keene Police Department. And of course, I've expressed this uh, to the council in um, appearances previous, but it seems to me that uh, you know, one thing that you all want to think about, whether I get chosen for this position or not, is what the purpose of government is. Uh, is the purpose of government to control people, to tell them things they can and can't do that you don't like, or is the purpose of government to protect individual life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? And if it is to protect the, the pursuit of happiness, then there's no reason to be taking peaceful people off the streets and putting them in prison cells in, uh, in the county jail if they haven't harmed anyone else. And I can tell you, having been to that county jail for a two-month period, I had the opportunity to meet some of its denizens. And I don't know if any of you have ever actually been there to visit the actual people who are in the jail. It's one thing to take a tour of the jail itself, and it's a very well-run jail. It's, in fact, probably the best in the entire state, if not one of the best in the, in the country. Um, that's not my issue. The jail itself is not the issue. They do a good job there but it's putting people in there who don't belong there. If you would take, and you can talk to Rick Van Wickler, who's the superintendent of that jail, if you were to take out of that jail all of the peaceful prisoners, you'd probably be able to shut the jail, like three-fourths of the jail down. I mean, you've got people in there for smoking cannabis, you've got them in there for driving. Note I didn't say driving drunk, those people are there, but driving, people actually driving to work. There was a guy in my cell block who was in for an entire year because he was going to work. And it really all it ended up being was like a you know, paperwork snafu with the Department of Transportation from 22 years previous that he didn't get cleared up. He was going to work, he got pulled over by Keene Police and put in jail for a year of his life. He's got a family on the outside. I mean, he's not uncommon. There are a bunch of people like that in there, and nobody tells their story because everybody looks at the jail and they say, oh, well, that's the place where bad people go. But I can tell you that's not true. And as I say, the uh, superintendent would also tell you that there are a bunch of people in that jail that they really don't belong there. So I hope that uh, you know, one of the things that I would work toward uh, if I were a city councilor would be to change the priorities for the Keene Police Department to actually investigate real crimes that have real victims. I think that's really important, and it, it would be something that would go a long way toward keeping the streets safer here in Keene if the police weren't spending their time on victimless crimes. Also, of course, property tax. As any of you know, uh, if you own property in Keene, it's, it's pretty outrageous here. I pay four times the property tax in New Hampshire that I did when I lived in Florida. Now, mind you, Florida has other taxes to kind of make up the difference, so it's understandable why New Hampshire's property taxes are higher than the average, but uh, all that said, Keene is one of the highest in the state. And uh, so obviously it can be done, you know, governing can be done for less. And so hopefully there will be ways to, uh, to look at changing that because it seems to me that the property taxes in Keene are driving families out of Keene. Uh, if I were- you, you have a minute to go. Thank you very much. Uh, if I were a family move, looking at moving into Keene, I would choose one of the surrounding towns simply because it's just so much cheaper. You can get all the benefits of living near Keene all of the stores and all the nice things that we have here, but uh, why bother actually living in Keene because the taxes are crazy. Plus the uh, zoning department as well, I think that needs to go away. Uh, at the very least, it should be changed to a, a system where it's complaint-based like it used to be. It's my understanding it's been changed to where zoning enforcers just go around and, uh, and harass people, and I know that, uh, that they've been known to do that. I've uh, talked to some of my neighbors and they don't uh, appreciate, even one of the jail guards was telling me that uh, she didn't appreciate the way zoning was handled in, uh, in Keene. So those are three really important issues to me, and I appreciate you listening. Thank you. Thank you. We'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.